at this moment, you forget as much, my dear. Grandma, what big teeth you have? The wolf said, I am happy with who I am and what I am and leaped out of bed. <laughs> Grandma heard her hiding face in the claws and intent, intent on devouring her. Filming but running the eating. Scream, not out of alarm at the wolf's apparent tendency toward cross-dressing, but because of his willful invasion of her personal space, the screams were heard by a passing wood chopper person or a law field technician, as he preferred to be called. When he burst into the cottage, he saw a melee and tried to intervene, but as he raised his axe for Riding Hood and the wolf both stopped him, just what do you think you're doing, after Riding Hood? The one chopper person blinked and tried to answer, but no words came in. First thing here, like a Neanderthal, trusting your weapon to do your thinking for you, she exclaimed, sexist species, how dare you assume that women and wolves can't solve their own problems without a man's help? When she heard Red Riding Hood's impassioned speech, Grandma jumped out of the wolf's mouth at the seeds of what chopper person as axe and cut his head off. After this ordeal, Red Riding Hood, Grandma, and the wolf felt a certain com commonality of person. They decided to set up an alternative household based on cooperation and they lived together. Oh my goodness. <laughs>